Maybe for the holidays you need a new furry friend. Several rural animal shelters are hoping that you can help clear their shelters by Christmas. They need to adopt and provide foster families, and they say the need is just greater than it's been in years past. On your side, Robert Bradfield explains the effects that COVID-19 are having on smaller shelters. They are running out of space. <coughs> At Union County Animal Control in Lake Butler, there are no empty kennels in sight. Animal rescue nonprofits say that is a problem. And the founder of Florida Urgent Rescue blames COVID-19 for an increase of shelter surrenders. I think a lot of people who adopted animals when they were working from home are now saying, oh, I don't have time for them, now I'm back to work. And there's, uh, it seems like a higher percentage than normal of animals being surrendered. Mike Merrill works with five rural county shelters on the first coast and says all of them are full. He's noticed a growing stray population too, in part because spay and neuters stopped at the start of the pandemic. I think a lot of animals did not get spayed or neutered when they would have otherwise been, and I think there's some repercussions now from that as well. Merrill also transports animals to other shelters across the country, but those are also at capacity, limiting his ability to clear the shelters here. He needs more foster families or those who are serious about adopting, which he hopes will alleviate overcrowding. It feels like we're emptying the ocean with a teaspoon. We're chipping away at the problem, but the, the problem is, is so large that you know, we're, we're unable to keep up with the request for help. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.